So what's wrong with our people today? Why have you been seduced into celebrating Father's Day? How low have our people fallen? Bring it out. Matthew 24, I'm gonna show you something that Christ said. Again, we want Pastor Bailey to come out. Pastor Carter, Pastor Bailey Carter. We want our brother, Pastor Sanders to come out, deal with us in the scriptures. We're the deacons, we're the senior leadership. That's who we want. We have questions. You got a lot of souls on your hands that are listening to you, pastors, deacons, senior leadership. You got a lot of souls in your hands. Y'all don't know what y'all are doing when y'all are playing with God's people. Y'all don't understand that y'all are playing with God's people. We got questions. Matthew 24, verse 3. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming? What shall be the sign? The disciples came to Christ and said, What's the sign of your second coming? What is the sign of Jesus Christ making his return to the earth? Let's see what Christ's response was. And of the end of the world. And of what? And of the end of the world. Okay, we're reading the Bible. I know a lot of y'all have not read this. We're reading future prophecy out of Jesus Christ's mouth. Jesus Christ was a black man. That's right. Jesus Christ was a dark-skinned black man. We want the deacons. We want the Pastor Sanders. We want Pastor Bailey to come out and deal with us. Show us a white image of Jesus Christ in the Bible. Right. Show us the, in the Bible where it says it don't matter what Jesus Christ looked like. Right. Show us in the Bible where it says Jesus was olive color. Show us in the Bible where it says Jesus was just a spirit. Show me in the Bible where it says we don't know what he looked like. Show me in the Bible. I want the pastor out here. I have questions. I have questions. Men would deceive. That's why Christ said, take heed that no man deceive you. Come on. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. You know how people are deceived in these last days? With many Christ? You have many images of Jesus Christ portrayed as a white man. Right. But then you'll have, you, you, you won't find that in the Bible. The Bible does talk about Jesus Christ's image, but then you have our people, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that say, oh, it don't matter. Well, if it don't matter, why have an image up at all? Why do you have an image up at all if it don't matter? Why do you go, why do you go and watch Passion of Christ, Son of God, the movie, if it don't matter what he looked like? Right. I don't get it. I got questions. Where are the deacons? Where is Pastor Sanders? Where's Pastor Carter? We have questions. Make sure y'all fishing the people over. Because I got questions for the people. No, he's, he's here. I know he's here. Pastor Sanders is here. I know that. He's already, I know he's here. Y'all not telling me he's not here. The deacons are here. The senior leadership is here. Y'all didn't abandon the church. Y'all are here. I want y'all to come across the street and deal with us in the scriptures. Right. Y'all say y'all are godly men. Y'all say y'all uphold the Bible. Y'all believe in the Bible. So that's what I want to see. I want to see the men of God come and deal with the men of God in the scriptures. Right. As Christ did. As Paul did. As Peter did, they went through the scriptures. Come on. Read that part again. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 4. And Jesus answered and said, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. My brother, my brother, my brother, my brother, I got a question for you. Do you go to the church? So now, so now don't nobody, y'all just got out of church. With the Bible in hand, y'all see a Bible coming out, and now don't nobody got, don't want to deal in the scriptures. 
That makes no sense. That makes no sense. How are you leaving the house of God, but you don't want to read the Bible when you see the Bible coming out? Right. When you see men standing on a corner with a Bible and it's 95 degrees out, and you don't want to, you don't want to stop and hear the word of God? I'm confused. I'm perplexed. Come on. Zechariah chapter 7 and verse 11. But they refuse to hearken. They refuse to what? They refuse to hearken. The children of Israel refuse to listen to the word of God. Refuse to listen to the word of God. Come on. And pulled away the shoulder. And they pulled away the shoulder. They pulled away the shoulder. They just continue to walk as if they didn't hear a word behind them. Trust me, you are being marked as we speak. Come on. And stopped their ears. And stopped their ears. They closed their ears because they don't want to hear the word of God coming out. Right. They don't want to hear the truth coming out. They don't want to hear that sisters cannot. It's unlawful for our sisters to wear pants. That's against the laws of God. God said it's abominable. But when you've been deceived by men, you will walk on by as if everything is good. As if you're good with God. Was that it or not? See, he, he just pulled away the shoulder. He said, ah, my brother just pulled away the shoulder. You hear the word of God coming out, and you wave us off. You, matter of fact, you ain't even waving us off. You waving God off. Right. Go get the pastor. No, you go get the pastor. You go get the pastor. Since you don't want to deal with us, you're not man enough to deal with us, so go get the pastor. Go get your senior leadership. That's what I thought. Running away from the word of God. The wicked flee when no man pursue it. So don't wave us off. You go get the pastor since you're not man enough to deal with us. You're not man enough to deal with the word of God. Read it again. Go back to Matthew 24. We out here to teach you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You're the Israelites. You are God's chosen people. You must repent and keep God's commandments in these last days. That's right. Sisters coming out from hearing the word of God, no head covering. That's against the word of God. You know how something like that happens? Read that. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. You have been deceived. You black people on this church grounds right now, you have been deceived. You are being deceived. Your pastor won't even come out and deal with the word of God. We're not out here for violence. We are out here to have a godly discourse in the scriptures because Christ said one of the signs of his second coming is that many would be deceived. We don't want our people to be deceived. And y'all treat us as enemies. Nobody wants to deal in the scriptures. Read that, read that again. And Jesus answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. No, shall deceive a few. And shall deceive many. And shall deceive many. Because a lot of you think that godliness means if I go to the biggest church on the corner. That's not godliness. Right. A part of the deception is you think that godliness is gain. Give me that in 1 Timothy 6. A lot of y'all think that, God, especially in the religion of Christianity, they think that God, that gain is godliness. Gain is close to godliness. That's not in the Bible. I think go ahead at verse four, three. Verse three. If any man teach otherwise, and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. The wholesome words are the words of Christ. Christ came in the volume of the book, so you cannot negate negate. From Genesis to Malachi. You cannot negate, negate that. You cannot do it. Read it again. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to host some words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. You're going to have to get your stuff off our property. That's city property, brother. Man, we know you go to We're going to have the police come over here and move you there. If you don't get this stuff, you can get on the sidewalk. You get on the sidewalk. We've already been told by the police. We cannot block the sidewalk. That's not this our is, problem. This is, this is, is our property. property. We have to get the police over Understood. here. Understood. Okay. Come on. Come on. 
If any man speaks otherwise and consents not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, to whom and to the doctrine which is according to godliness. You must listen to the doctrine according to godliness. The doctrine according to godliness. Come on. What's godliness? Keeping God's commandments. Loving your neighbors, you love yourself. Women not wearing pants. Wearing skirts and dresses. Men putting a beard on your face. Not eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. Keeping the Sabbath day holy, the seventh day of the week. Come on. He is proud, knowing nothing but doubting about questions and strikes of words, whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil surmisings, perverse disputings of men, and corrupt minds, and, dis and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness. Supposing that gain is godliness. Gain is godliness. Supposing that gain is godliness. You having the most money in the world does not bring you any closer to God. It don't. I know we're here to prosperity preaching. I know we're here to feel good messages. But guess what? Gain does not get you closer, closer to godliness. The more money in your pocket does not mean that you're any closer to God. It don't. How you doing? I'm good. How are you, sister? I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I just, got, I'm just trying to help out, sir. Uh, I understood. I'll yeah, praise to the most high, and I appreciate you for that. Yeah. What we're out here doing, while, while you're doing that, is we're out here to teach our people mm -hmm. to repent. That's all we're trying to do. Yes, sir. We're trying to teach our people to come off of drugs. Yes, sir. Stop being drug addicts. Yes, sir. Don't be drug dealers. Yes, sir. Stop murdering your people. So as long as, as all your stuff, just, listen, listen, off the ground. Understood. Understood. Yeah. As moving, long as we're good on the sidewalk. We're, we're, fine. We're, fine. we're fine. We're fine. We're good. Good. We're, good. Right. we're good. We're good. No we're good. We're good. No problem at all. No problem at all. All right. All right. Let's, move. Let's move it up a little bit so we can get off the, gra uh, off the grass. Off the grass. We're out here teaching our people to come off of drugs. Stop being drug dealers. Come out of the games. Stop being baby mamas and baby daddies. That's the doctrine of Christ. The doctrine of Christ is not to be a baby mama. The doctrine of Christ is to get married. The doctrine of Christ is for fathers to raise their children, love their wives. That's the doctrine of Christ. A lot of our people be giving the police a hard time, having to, having to chase them in the middle of the street. And then we wonder why we're getting shot down in the streets. You being suspected of, of, of drug dealing, you look like, the, as a, uh, uh, where is that in Surat where it talks about uh, excessive laughing gate? Your look. I just want to quote it. Quote it for me. A man may be known by his look. Thank you. A man may be known by his look. You don't got to get it. A man is known by his look. So a lot of our people, they'll be in the club on Saturday on God's Day, but then go to church on Sunday. Right. And then they say that that's godliness. It's not godliness. It's not. Read this part again. First Timothy chapter 6 and verse 5. Perverse disputings of men and corrupt minds and destitute of the truth. Destitute of what? And destitute of the truth. Let's get the truth for our people. Hold that. Because God said in the last days, our people would be destitute of the truth. Destitute of the truth. Destitute of the truth. Come on. Psalms chapter 119, verse 142. Bring it out. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. So what did God say our people would be destitute of? Thy law is the truth. Our people in the last days would be destitute of the laws of God. That's right. That's why Maury Povich can make millions off of black people, Hispanics and Native Americans. Jerry Springer can be a millionaire off the decrepit state of blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Maury Povich is a millionaire off of black people being baby mamas and baby daddies. But we don't say nothing about that. We ain't got nothing to say about that. 
Jerry Springer is a millionaire of the lowest state of blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But we don't protest about that. But we'll protest about Pookie getting shot dead in the street. Meanwhile, Pookie was a known drug dealer that was in the midst of sin, was in the midst of an armed robbery. And then when, when Romans 6.23 is applied, the wages of sin is death, then all of a sudden we want to march in the streets. That's crazy. That's hypocrisy. Right. You cannot pick and choose what you want to march about. You can't pick and choose what you complain about. Lamentation 3. Lamentation 3.38. And then we're going to go back to Matthew 24. Lamentation 3.38. Lamentations chapter 3 and verse 38. Out of the mouth of the Most High proceedeth not evil and good. The, out of the mouth of the Most High does not good and evil proceed. Did not the Most High write Romans 6.23, the wages of sin is death? Did he not write that in the scriptures? So then why are we complaining? Why are we so surprised when our people get shot dead in the streets? In the middle of a drug war? In the middle of a gang fight? And then we're surprised. You're an Israelite according to the Bible. Come get a flyer. My sister, come get a flyer. The flyer is free. We're not charging for it. We're not posting our cash app for it. We're not posting our PayPal information for it. We're not doing that. We're telling our people to repent, keep God's commandments in the faith of his son, Jesus Christ. We're asking our people to come deal with us. I'm seeing a lot of sisters dressed totally out of order. I'm seeing sisters walk out of church, children walking out of church in almost boy shorts in spandex brothers in there can see your panty line you don't think that them men in there ain't lusting after you sisters when they can see your whole shape when they can see your whole breast and your behind Bro. you don't think the men in there is lusting after you bring it out when you're totally out of order against god right lamentation 339 lamentation chapter 3 verse 39 bring it out wherefore does a living man complain so then why does a living man complain why do you complain about being a baby mama and baby daddy? Oh, ain't no good man in the world. Right. Ain't no good man out there. All the good men are gone. Read it again. Wherefore does a living man complain? Why do you complain? A man for the punishment of his sin. When you're punished for your own sins, you say, I want to jump from man to man to man to man as opposed to getting married to the one man you had sex with. How about marry the man that was worthy enough for you to crack your legs open to? Right. How about marry the man that was worth that you deemed worthy enough to have a child by? Right. You glory in being a baby mama over being a wife. And then you complain that ain't no good men out there. Bass Aquas. That's what I like to say. Bass Aquas. Right. That's backwards. Black people's minds is backwards. Your whole brain stem is backwards. It's totally contrary to the laws of God. Right. But black woman will complain about being a baby mama. Meanwhile, she, she deemed a brother worthy enough to open her legs, him to nut inside of her, and have his child, but he's not worthy enough to marry her. Oh, he can't handle me. He could handle you in the bedroom, but he can't handle you as a wife? Bring it out! Maybe you cannot handle being a woman of God. You can't handle being a wife. Bring it out! You can't handle being told what to do. Because it's one thing that black people hate is to be told what to do. That's right. Black people hate to be told what to do. Black people hate instruction. But we're going to tell you whether you listen or not. It don't matter to us. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed but at the end of the day, 
nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.